another guest for the Master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late. You'll have to... Master Astarian? What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. It's too late. Godi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. Casador gave the key to Godi. And where is this sadistic old sack of bones? It does not matter. You're too late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. I do not have any more time to waste. There is too much to do, too much to prepare. Quietly, anyone could be listening. Then ask, quickly. Cazador's nearby. I can feel it. He'll have some secret room or tunnel, I'm sure of it. We just have to find the entrance. Then he'll be mine. Two sentries walking these halls, and I've never once seen the ballroom door locked. Cazador doesn't want anything going wrong tonight. The signet ring should unlock the ballroom door, but only if we can read the inscription. And I don't know about you, but it's pure gibberish to me. There are inscriptions like this all over the palace. Cazador strictly forbade us from learning the language. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kosakuran script from the dictionary you found. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. The runaway spawn. <laughs> You reek of the Master's scent. Come with us. Come to Master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. We bring you to him. We get his favor. You stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Vampire nest. You truly can find everything in the city. I'd better keep my throat protected. The living may not be prevented from crossing a vampire's threshold, but that doesn't make us any more welcome. Tread carefully. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence.
Belial recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. This is all so grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Casador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. <laughs> 